Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems and today I'll demonstrate how Enterprise Architect can be used to document, visualise and understand a legacy application using the Visual Execution Analyzer. I can then leverage this information to conduct maintenance and produce documentation that helps to explain how the system works. Imagine I've been asked to document and maintain the City Loop application that is currently shown on screen. Designed to manage peak demand for train services, the application simulates three trains moving around a metropolitan train network consisting of six different train stations. For each train, the application displays the number of passengers on board and the name of the approaching train station. The Chief Architect reviewed the application and is concerned that none of the trains ever managed to reach the maximum capacity of 400 passengers. She has asked me to investigate the cause and rectify the problem. Rather than reviewing hundreds of lines of code, I shall use the Visual Execution Analyzer to better understand how the application works and modify the code to resolve the problem. I have used Enterprise Architect to reverse engineer the code, providing some basic documentation of the application structure as shown on screen in the project browser. I'd like to examine train capacity, so I'll start by investigating the class entitled C Train. To view the source code, I press F12. The obvious place to start is any operations that involve passengers, such as Embark. I'll insert a breakpoint at line 44 by clicking in the grey margin to the left of the code. When the debugger hits a breakpoint, the debugger halts execution and displays local variables, the call stack, threads and any other relevant runtime information. The debugger supports a number of different programming languages and in Enterprise Architect 10 can be extended to include additional user-defined programming languages. To debug the application, press play in the debug window. You'll note that execution will be halted at line 44 of the embark operation. In other words, the application will pause when people board the train at a station. Let's run the application to see how Enterprise Architect handles breakpoints. So as the trains hit the station, execution is halted. Enterprise Architect highlights the relevant code at the breakpoint. This allows us to view internal structures of our software as it's running. The best way to do this is to view the locals window to show all the local variables for this function. The first thing that stands out is that the capacity for the trains is only 200, where the chief architect clearly indicated that it should be 400 passengers. I can now modify the code and rectify this problem. The locals window also provides a number of additional features. For example, if I select a variable, I can use the context menu and it gives me a number of options including the ability to break when the variable is modified, the ability to save a snapshot for making future comparisons and the ability to set a conditional breakpoint. If I return to the debug window I can step over code. I have a convenient technique for reviewing the value of variables and that's simply to place the cursor over a variable and you can see that I have an integer capacity which is equal to 200. This feature allows you to review variables without ever leaving the code. I can now stop the debugging process and make changes to the code. I can hit Control S to save my code and then I can rebuild my application. I have a simple build script here that points to my compiler and my source code and I can simply right click to rebuild the application. Having ran my application for quite some time I can now see that all trains have reached their maximum capacity of 400 passengers. Using the debugger we found which member variable was at fault allowing us to make the necessary changes to ensure the execution of the train simulation runs according to the specification. I did not have to search through hundreds of lines of code and the execution analyzer made this a very simple process. 
I will now demonstrate how to use the Visual Execution Analyzer within Enterprise Architect to automatically generate documentation for the City Loop application. The Visual Execution Analyzer can automatically generate a sequence diagram, a test point diagram, a class diagram, and can even help to identify any invalid state transitions. Using the recorder, you can gain an overview of what your program is doing, something that is often quite difficult when dealing with large or complex systems. I shall use recording markers to record the execution of the City Loop application. Once again, I can click in the grey region to the left of the code, and if I right click, it gives me a number of options, including the ability to add a start recording marker. I'm going to place my start recording marker in the embark operation and I'm going to end my recording marker when passengers disembark. This time I'll run the application from the record and analyse window allowing me to record the sequence of execution. Enterprise Architect will prompt me with a number of choices. In this example I want to ensure that all three trains travel through the Metropolitan Train Network without missing a train station so I'm going to track my state transitions using an existing state machine that represents the six stations in the Metropolitan Train Network. I'm going to select the state machine now. When the debugger is executed, it continues to run the thread, recording a stack history into either the end recording marker is encountered or the thread terminates. Unlike normal breakpoints where the debugger halts and displays a line of code. In addition to being able to create a sequence diagram, Enterprise Architect can automatically create a test point diagram and it can create a class diagram such as the one shown on screen. Enterprise Architect allows you to display two diagrams side by side. This technique can be useful to ensure that state transitions are happening correctly. I can ensure that all three of my trains are going through each and every train station in the network as designed. For more information on the Visual Execution Analyzer or to download a free 30-day trial of Enterprise Architect, please visit www.sparksystems.com.